All right, welcome in to part two of this loadout race featuring Big D Wig D, featuring Klauski, featuring Goji, featuring Killer Bunny. Um, we've got competition. Things have been heating up here after the first round. Um, could be anyone's game. I'll go ahead and reveal the, the scores in just a moment. Feel free to um, go back and watch that. Should be in the link in the description below. Um, to get yourself caught up here, and then you can go ahead and watch this. Or, if you just want to be spoiled, I'll go ahead and do that now. So, in last place for the first loadout was Killer Bunny, down in the bottom right. Um, ended up doing really well up until about the moon, the Mythrix, stage 5-ish. Uh, took a lot of deaths, and then that just kept getting more and more. Went to full tilt, and then ended up with a DNF. Um... A little bit behind uh, Bunny, but ahead out of everyone else, the first one to finish real time was K uh, Klauski, who actually, no, I thought he got in third, no, got in second place. Um, even with three deaths, uh, or four deaths, right? Played it really fast, played it really well, and just was able to to um, take down Big D Wig D, who, despite not dying much i think only died once on stage five up until the moon was able to uh do really well and then had a quick hiccup at the way end of the fight um and because of that ended up getting in third place but it was goji goji who not only got in first place but got in first place by a landslide with a solid five is doing really well and it was feeling pretty comfortable here um in this race so Looking pretty good, right? We've got Captain. We've got double hack beacon on Captain, right? We're going to see a lot of free items. We see Klauski going for a quick hack on a sh uh, chance shrine. Right here. Um, but, but you'll notice we're not seeing any giant red circles on the ground, right? We're seeing a lot of little circles, little bubbles that do 1,000% damage each. Because there's no Diablo, we are talking about orbital probes. That means... Speed shooting, and we're going to see a lot of it. We saw Klauski practicing speed shooting earlier. We saw Big D going all out with a bit speed shoot. Gets a ukulele for the boss item. Really nice. The uh, chance shrine outside the TP, by the way, is a bison steak and a monster tooth. So, <laughs> not exactly the most optimal item combo. Unless you're really a fan of plus 25 health and a fan of, of plus 8 health on kill. Big D, the first one done with the TP, or TP boss anyways. Killer Bunny also fighting, doing a little bit of speed shooting. We see Killer Bunny. Killer Bunny knows a lot about a lot of the tech in Risk of Rain. Just doesn't have the most awareness when it comes to enemies. Oh my god, there's so many wisps everywhere. You gotta... You gotta aim at them. No, don't go for the beetles, go for the wisps. They're killing you. Ends up taking a drink. Honestly, not a bad call. If you're that close to death, if you're Killer Bunny. Right, down to 33 health. What was that like 17? Had no healing items. Not even the uh, the monster tooth. <laughs> um, but finishes off the boss, finishes off all the enemies. It's going to be okay. Has 101 bucks. And there we go. Ukulele. For Goji as well. Goji, who's at 5... Six items if you include the uh, the microbots. Looking pretty good. There's an interstellar desk plant right outside of TP that uh, Big D ended up getting. There's no recycler though, right? The only equipment we know of on this stage is a remote caffeinator. And Big D doesn't have it. Hopefully there's no fireworks down the line. Otherwise we'll be at a disadvantage. Um, hopefully there's some other equipments, right? Some of the stages we know there is a scorched acres. Really easy to get equipment there. Wetland Aspect is really large, usually I think has the highest ratio of equipments that you get. Right, a lot of equipment barrels there. Um, about equal to a Phalian, though. Not slightly higher. And then Sunder Grove, which at that point, maybe not so much. But there's uh, some chances for some early equipment where it'll start mattering, and then Big D will still be able to get something. As, as Killer Bunny gets the, the almighty Interstellar Dusk Plan, having been the second person done with the TP. And is now gonna 
use the free hack on that champ shrine. It's going to get a bison steak. It's going to get a monster tooth. So what items are actually good from stage one? Well, the uh, Enter Tower Dust Plant does provide a source of healing outside of uh, Monster Tooth, but there's already some healing drones, healing drones that Goji ended up getting. All right, so that's not too, too much value. Um, better than nothing, though. We see Big D doing some more speed shoots on that. The Vagrant finishes it off already. We can see the next uh, item is a Genesis Loop, uh, which is cool and good. Maybe we'll see some gloops into Sticky Bomb. Always nice to see some Genesis Loop proc chain. But everyone, right, essentially had a, a, a five minute or less stage one. Right, usually, we'll usually see a little bit of a, a, a difference in time. The only difference really that we've seen so far is Big D going a lot faster than the others. Big D probably not feeling too comfortable only having one point after the first round. And, oh, there's a printer. There's a hoof printer, and Killer Bunny's going into it. Uh, what do you end up losing from that? You end up losing maybe armor-piercing rounds. It doesn't lose it yet. It's going to get a 50-50 from that and the bison steak, and loses the piercing rounds, unfortunately. But at least has five hooves. As Goji found a bottled chaos, I believe that was in a small chest. He's using a hacking beacon, getting one, two, three, four... Okay, three nothings, and then gets two items. See some nice items in the ground, though, but it's leaving those items up for a reason, right? Purposely not picking up those items, because if, you know, you pick them up, then you can't use the speed printer. Goji knows about the speed printer. Do any of the other racers know? I'm not sure. Klauski does. Klauski just pinged at the goat hoof printer. Um, I actually believe... Oh, no, it's this. This is the race that it happens. Klauski's game is going to crash in like a minute. And it's going to have to restart because there's no um, proper save enabled. And because, I mean, the reason why pro proper save wasn't enabled, I told racers they could use it at this point, like right before the race. Didn't really have too much of a heads up, though. Didn't have it enabled. Um, it was broken for a little bit because of the update, because of the devotion update. Um... And Klauski didn't know. So what we end up doing when the crash happens is Klauski is able to come back. We'll just end up having uh, a five-minute penalty added on for, for having knowledge of stage one and a little bit of, of stage two as well. And Goji, meanwhile, the second one on the Vagrant, third one on the Vagrant being Killer Bunny, barely behind. Looking very similar item-wise, as Goji went all in, did lose the, uh, the AP round as well. Gets the lands in the Genesis loop, maybe on accident, and yep, there's the freeze. Klauski's game freezes, hasn't activated TP yet, was starting to go into the speed printer, it's going to be a timeout. And it's not just going to be a, a short timeout, it's going to be a long one. We'll go ahead and, and just... Oh Jesus, everything's all over the place, I'm trying to figure out what's going on, like, okay, it's... it's... Killer Bunny, or is Klauski's stream just dead? And yes, it's dead because not only did, did the stream crash, but everything crashed. And so we'll go ahead and, and zoom ahead here. It's not often that I have to be the one with the technical difficulties. Yeah, this was like a 10 minute timeout. It was almost just going to be a straight up DNF because of the amount of time. I think the, the normal limit we put on is 10 minutes, but we gave an exception with the whole devotion update. And the instructions are handed out. This Klauski's back in. Does have skin tuner now. Hello, skin tuner. Does have proper save, or doesn't have proper save, though. We see it is still not in the bottom right. And think. Oh, okay, here we are. So Klauski's just going to straight up restart the whole run. We'll have a five minute penalty added on. We'll go ahead and uh, mark that through 
this. Um, it's not a plus 15, don't worry. It's supposed to be a plus 5. But 5 minutes have been added on to Klauski's time. Klauski will have knowledge on everything going on. Right? Knows that it, there's going to be certain items from certain hacks. But has plus five minutes, right? We couldn't just, I mean, the other options would be either just let Klauski be completely done and uh, not get to play. I just have to forfeit. But with the, the stakes so high on the line and, and with the devotion update popping out of thin air, right? We just put in the, the normal crash procedure and, you know, Klauski was barely into stage two as well. So we're back. Klauski restarts, <laughs> and we'll have to, uh, to climb up. Goji, meanwhile, already done with the TP. We'll now get to proceed. Has a lot of speed, a quail and five hooves. Did anyone else get that much speed? Yes, Killer Bunny did. Killer Bunny has equal amounts. It's the opal. I think we're gonna see Goji go back for that chan shrine that was that was uh, hit a few times earlier. Yeah, I was running up now. Again, didn't pick up the items there because the items were good, and didn't want to turn them into uh, movement speed. And that's bleed. Kl Killer Bunny actually has a double bleed, so is able to. Um, Maybe get something going with that with speed shooting on Captain. Captain works really, really, really well with bleed. And Goji actually picking up pennies. Every racer has at least some amount of pennies at this point. Uh, as we see, Big D, the first one is stage three and by a by a pretty large margin as well. It's just absolutely chilling. But there's a downside, right? We kind of saw this happen in loadout one. I think it's something that Big D needs to work on a little bit is knowledge and and, and putting value towards movement speed. Oop. It's Big B screen pops out for a second. Was I paying attention? No. Now th this this recording that I had to do, this race that I had to ref, was the morning after one of my best friend's bachelor parties. So I was a little out of it. <laughs> the, uh, the first loadout, you didn't see it, but if you notice that Klauski typed in the words, bless you, I sneezed. And my microphone was actually still turned on as ref. So I had to have that turned off. And I forgot up until like the 10 minute mark of the first loadout. And it was embarrassing. And then that happened. It took me like 10 seconds to realize. But we're good now. We've got all four screens. Klauski's activating the TP, right? Second time through. Has the five minute penalty added on, right? It says only three minutes and 20 seconds on the clock, but it's actually more like eight minutes. And it's still on stage one, right? We'll need to catch up. We'll need to use what little knowledge he does have of the early game to the best of his ability. A third try tip is found on Goji. Goji ended up getting the second bleed as well. It now has a third. And everyone's starting to get sort of a, a bleed build. And there's a royal capacitor as well. So you've got multiple options here if you're Goji. You can go down a route of burst. You can go down a route of of proc with the bleed. Uh, we saw Killer Bunny going through an adaptive chest opted to take a delicate watch. And yeah, the bleed was in a, uh, a try shop here on stage three. There's a scrap picked up for Goji. I wonder what for. Not sure, but there is a firework. A bundle of fireworks, uh, equipment that again, Big D does not have. But I'm not sure why you would pick up the fireworks. I guess it's nice just for a tiny little bit of crowd control uh, throughout the game. Uh, early stages, right? Stage 2, stage 3, stage 4. That's about it. Big D actually opting to go for a centric vase. Hmm. I don't hate the idea. I think it's good to have a pillar skip on hand, right? Got through the stage three, used the capacitor, but then moved on from it. 
Or no, had no equipment, just took that. And oh oh. Uh oh. Oh, there's a bleed printer. That's a bleed printer. Uh-huh. You wanna go into that. But you wanna find a scrapper if you're big D. Well, do you? Yeah, you wanna keep the opal. And suddenly everything takes a huge turn. Again, bleed printer on spawn of stage four. Here's an adaptive chest. Big D's immediately gonna go for it. But oh, I remember this here. I remember it's this one. Adaptive chest begins, is looking through, is looking through. Oh, just sees a hoof, takes a hoof. Okay, so it gets movement speed. Movement speed solved. Okay, it wasn't Big D. Keep an eye on that adaptive chest, but some of the other racers go for it. Some of the other racers, speaking of which, Goji and Killer Bunny, both on the stage 3 TP, both still deathless. Uh oh. Okay. Once killed for a killer bunny, has one to go. Again, with double bleed, can work with that. So we see the dude strider's getting wrecked pretty quick. Bleed's making quick work. Killer bunny's getting a lot of shots in. That's 10 stacks, that's 11 stacks. Even with all that armor. Oh, it ends. Klauski, meanwhile, just about has made it back to where he ended up crashing the first time around. Got about 75 gold from that blood shrine. Trying to go fast. Again, has that five minute penalty from the crash. Clock says about 645. It's actually about 1147. Right, which is about four minutes behind of everyone else. So has that to look forward to, but... That's about it. Knows about the, the the speed printer though, so can opt to not take good items yet and try and, and macro game that the speed. I think speed and movement speed and uh, bleed would be huge. If you could get a feather on this as well, could be massive. Which I think there is a feather. I think there is a feather on stage three or no stage four. It's in the uh, that adaptive chest, the one that Big D went through and ended up getting a goat hoof. Right, there's a lot of stuff in that. I forget who gets it, though. Someone's going to get a feather. Wungus is picked up for, for Killer Bunny. Did anyone else get the Wungus? Yes, Big D did. And as did Goji. Everyone has the Wungus. Goji, yep, also taking the, uh, the vase, having gotten the uh, usage out of the capacitor. Right, isn't gonna die from any Grove Tenders or anything like that on stage three. It's Dune Shredders this time, though. We gotta remember in week six, the uh, Grove Tender incident that happened to Goji. Goji actually taking a blue portal. Not a bad idea. You wanna try and find a feather by any means possible. Goji's gonna try and do that through this. Nope, just sees more Bottle Chaos. And Klauski going for the Goat Hoof Printer. I believe the fifth item it takes is the Armor Piercing Round. But Klauski's gonna stop at four. Calling it a day. So everyone has movement speed, except for Big D, who only has the one hoof and the one mocha. Right, is that four bleed right now? But like Goji, starting stage four as well. Look at this. Bleed, 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 once the bleed. Yep, yep. Going in, going in huge. Is at six, I believe. Could maybe even go for more, but even at six, like, you're getting a lot of value already. And that gub just immediately gets annihilated. Yeah. <laughs> As Klauski finishes off the stage 2 TP, again had the crash, is about 10 minutes behind in real time. That's the 5 minute penalty. Big D though. Done with stage four, on to stage five. Needs to, to find some sort of, of double jump, maybe safer spaces. One of those things would be huge. It's gonna opt to hack um, a Kajaro's band. Oh, laser scope. Laser scope is picked up on Killer Bunny. No one else thought to hack the um, legendary chest. And it pays off for Killer Bunny getting the laser scope. The amount of crit though, has 11% with a harvester scythe and a predatory instinct. So, 
it's like getting an extra crit glass, I guess. Off a hack, which, yeah, not bad. And every time you do get crit, it's like getting... Uh, a little bit more. <laughs> Man, I always wish the laser scope did a little bit more. Like, at least give it some base crit. Give it, like, 20% or something. It's got a whole scope on it, man. Yeah, there's Goji. Going through with the uh, speed shooting. And also not speed shooting. Boom. Already kills it. Doesn't even need to speed shoot. Just wants to strafe. Wants to play it safe. Can afford to do that. When you have so many bleed daggers anyway. You got 90 seconds to, to kill. 90 seconds to charge a TP. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> Take a look at this. Oops. Okay, Goji. Chilling inside TP bounds. Dealing with its void enemy. Uh-oh. Here comes a, a glacial. Glacial larva. It tries to suicide itself on him. On them. Sorry. And then void. And then glacial. And then another glacial. That glacial oh, larva almost hit Goji. Almost immediately annihilated them. Would have been insta death. Right, because the first hit, there was Opal up. But Goji, with quick reaction time, able to take it out. It's going to be safe. It's going to be deathless still. Again, Goji in first place by quite a few points, by three points. If Goji as much gets in second place, guarantees at least a tiebreaker. Goji gets in first place, they automatically win. And even if they end up getting in, in like, dead last, as long as there's no bonus points from Klauski or from uh, Big D, still at least guarantees a tiebreak. So, Goji just needs to play it safe. Just needs to do, like, oh. Even gets in third place, right? There's only one scenario that ends in a, in a loss then. Just chilling. You can play it slow, you can play it safe. And being done with the TP is thinking back about that bleed printer, among other things. Oh, I actually went for the legendary chest as well. Very smart. Gets. Laser scope. But that's not all, because here's the adaptive chest. Keep in mind what we were talking about the adaptive chest earlier. Goji's gonna look at it, look at it. Doesn't need speed. Forgot, or didn't forget, but didn't pick up the, uh, the fire band. Maybe wanted to get it, but no. Goji was set on something else, something more. Was set on the feather, and with a huge play, now has that second jump that none of the other racers have right now as captain. You get hit by Mithrix's hammer, and you're captain, and you don't have a second jump. You gotta use your vase, I guess, if you have that. That could be an air stall. That's it. Right. Need at least double bubble, so that way Opal can can stay, can lessen the fall, soften the fall, if you also have safer spaces. Stage 5 now for Killer Bunny. And also for uh, Goji. Killer Bunny and Goji. Just about at the same time. But Killer Bunny didn't get the feather again. Right, their builds are nearly identical. Aside from that feather. Right, adaptive chests sometimes and oftentimes mean that the biggest difference between racers in a competition here. We'll also see here another big difference that might be is Killer Bunny that might die to these blazing brass contraptions. Look at this, there's like three of them on screen right now. Just trying to put up with them. Thankfully has the... Uh, the microbots. Goji, meanwhile, dealing with a Zai construct. Kills that. There's also a Zai construct on Killer Bunny screen, getting zapped by it. Again, both uh, racers do have a lot of movement speed. So, should be fine there. Klauski, by the way, with the, the uh, five minute penalty, standing at about. 19 minutes and 30 seconds. And four minutes behind everyone else. Or I guess four minutes ahead. 
So within the course of four minutes, for, in order for Klauska to catch up, given the crash, he needs to do all of stage four. Which, it's a bit unfair, but hey, at least at least Klaus is still playing. That's the, uh, the compromise that we had. Right, it would be unfair if we had someone crash and knew everything about a lot of stages, and then just, it's like, okay, well, this question mark is garbage, I just want to go for that, I'm not going to go for that chest, but I do know where the spare drone parts are, so I can just seed and speed run this, right? And, and Goji done with the, uh, the TP boss. Killer Bunny, again, Killer Bunny who got on the uh, same stage essentially the same time as Goji. Hasn't even activated TP yet. It's kind of scouting around, not confident, not feeling comfortable. Right, Killer Bunny knows that if he does not get at least third place in this race, will be eliminated from the tournament. Can't have that happen. Need to do good. And on, after a huge losing streak, after getting in second place both week one and week two, Having fallen from like the top 14, top 15 seeds, is now down to 23rd. And uh oh, uh oh, no feather. Use the use the base. Nope, it's fine. Opal. Oh my god. If that was a single opal, I don't know if Bunny would have survived that. But did manage to live. Knows that if you just jump off, you teleport back up. Kill Bunny again. Very very knowledgeable on the the various tech of this game. Right. Knows a lot of the weird quirks of this has to work on dealing with with hordes <laughs> if killer bunny could figure out ads like during the mythrix fight and figure out how to, to handle crowds of enemies which is a, a large part of this game to be fair but i think killer bunny could be really really good if you like give him a year i think it took me like two or three years myself just to figure him out <laughs> if i'm being honest i was not that good at this game and I'm still bad at the game. That's why I'm a caster. But while all this is going on, while we're talking about Killer Bunny dealing with ads and, and almost falling off a cliff, Big D, D Wig D is on the Mythrix fight. Again, is ahead of Goji. In order for Big D um, to get in first place for this race, though, either needs double bonus points, right, which would mean to finish this fight 10 minutes before Goji. Goji, who's probably going to be in the fight in about two. I don't think there's any reason for, for Goji to go into Scrapper, or, or uh, not Scrap, but into Soup. And while all that's going on, I'm going to pause the game, because something really funny just happened, and you're probably not even paying attention to it. Take a look at Klaski here. Klaski's like, oh, here's the Bleed Printer from earlier, that's cool. Haven't activated TP yet, but here's an Adaptive Chest, oh, no enemies nearby. I'll just go ahead and, and look through it, we'll slow it down, uh-huh. Is looking by it and blazing jellyfish, and another jellyfish. It almost dies. Gloops, even. Thankfully, there was no watches to break or anything of the sort. And by the time all that's over, saw a shuriken and really bad reaction time there. Gets a brooch instead. Unfortunate, man. That jellyfish came out of nowhere. Do you even look at Klauski before that happened? And Klauski like turns around, doesn't see anything. All that just like pops out of thin air. <laughs> Oh, man. Big D really trying to go fast here. Phase 1 is dangerous. If you're captain. And you have no no uh, second jump or anything. Thankfully, he does have a couple healing drones. Mythrix targeting the said drones. Against Big D. And you gotta wait for Mythrix to be done, like right here. You could have gone for a speed shoot if Mythrix didn't, hadn't already died. Is now in Phase 2. Goji, meanwhile, just starting up Phase 1. Again, Goji with the, uh, the laser scope with the extra 11%. Uh, damage. Our 11% chance to deal triple damage instead of double. Goji, who. Let's see. Anything else unique about Goji's build over Big D? Eh, not really. I think Big D went a lot faster. Had Big D just not gotten the. Uh, or had Big D gotten the feather, gone for the adaptive chest, instead of just taking the hoof, right? Be in a better spot. Big D, who, who did not go into movement speed at all. We'll give him the chance with printers. Just making it work though, right? With a vase. Even speed from getting from point A to point B isn't as important. It's more just for, for dodging. And you got microbots, right? You can use them. 
Big D also knows how to use the taser. But while we're talking about tasers and we're talking about that, well, look what's going to happen here to, to Killer Bonnie down in the bottom right. Hello, Mythrix. Uh, so Killer Bonnie, again, look how much curse there is. Is 65%, gets a gloop, deals with everything but not everything. Right, that was an overloading uh, uh, alpha contract. It's going to try and heal up off of this... this uh, uh, super, no, not super massive bleach. What's the name of it? I just start with Dust Plant. And it's running up. Oh, was that? That wasn't death. Okay. Killer Bunny didn't die. Hmm. Now we gotta go back in time so you can see what's going on on other people's screen. Yeah, I thought that was a full on death. Nope, just Genesis Loop. Huge Genesis Loop play, though. Very cool. And able to use that interstellar dust plant healing as well to get back up to full health really quickly alongside with the Morgus. Big D getting harassed though in the center of a lot of enemies. There's like five golems, all the wisps in the world. Doesn't have two repulsion armor plates, only at 28 minutes, so not the end of the world, but but might die soon. And is, again, just unable to, to outrun these enemies. Does get into cover, though, finally. And takes care of a couple exploders, but here comes another Wisp out in the open. Downs goes the Wash, tries to pull off a Genesis Loop, does pull off the Genesis Loop, and hits every enemy with it. Really well done. At least he got some, some value in the moment, but, but with a premature end on that... On that vase, might get blasted by this wisp somewhere. It does not. Here come some golem shots, though. Oh my god, a wisp orb. What is going on with Big D Wigdy? Here out in the open in phase two. He's doing everything he can. And what's insane is while all this is going on, Goji, who entered the fight much later, is already almost done with phase two. It's just that much faster. Man, what does what does Goji have? Is it just the speed shooting and the aggression? It must be the movement speed. Being able to get into it a lot more with the enemies and a lot more with Mithrix. Not having to, to spend 20 minutes just to dodge one attack. Right, a lot of that mental capacity is being taken up. And now Killer Bunny, who ended up losing the watch on stage 2, or stage 5, is entering the Mithrix fight as well with also a very similar, nearly identical build to Goji. Goji and Big D almost back-to-back real-time, the seconds adding up real-time as well. Klauski, meanwhile, four minutes behind, and, and Big D takes a hit, pulls out another Genesis loop on Mythrix, and pizza begins, and there's a golem. You can try and taste the golem right now. Oh, that golem might kill you. Oh. You. With no jump, with no health, with no opal up. Okay, there goes the opal. Down to 10 health. Oh my god, the third Genesis loot. We're seeing some real Genesis loot value here. Unfortunately, that golem takes up the fire ban hit. But Big D is still alive somehow. And, and... Here goes pizza between these two racers. Hang on. It's between these two, as Goji's going for a lot more speed shoots than Big D. That must be it. Oh my god. Right, has the feather in hand. So we swap this back over, and there, there it is. There it happens. Big D takes a death. After all that time, after everything that happened, let's go back and take a look at that. As Big D, who was hanging on, was fighting face-to-face -face in real time against someone else who had a feather, who had, had so much more movement speed. And here comes Mythrix. I think it's just going to be a dash into death here. Yeah. Yeah, you got to look out for that. That'll, that'll get you every time. You just get dashed one too many times. Now, Big D, five minutes behind, needs to have Goji die to have any chance of getting a first place in this loadout. Goji needs to die right now for any chance for there to be a tiebreaker. Actually needs to double die, which could happen. Uh-oh. 
Big D is in air. Mid air. Oh, Goji gets phase four skip, by the way. Just needs to speed shoot Mythrix a little bit more. We'll be ready. Isn't feeling very confident about doing that. Now is. With the uh, Exploder projectiles now being zapped away. And Big D's still not done with Phase 3. Might actually take another death here. Only half the max HP currently held. Oh, gets a block of a teddy bear. Nice. That's why we get those, right? Klauski picking up some movement speed. And Killer Bunny, actually. Ooh. If Big D takes a death here, takes another death as, as Pizza's going on, has to use the base. Oh, jeez, uses the quail to escape. But it's so long as Killer Bunny doesn't die. Has a chance to get in third place? And no, in second place, if Klauski doesn't die. And if that happens, you get in second place overall, or third place overall, and you have a chance to make this the, uh, the tournament. Can it happen, though? We do know that Killer Bunny really, really greatly struggles on Phase 2. Doesn't really know how to deal with the ads yet. Needs to get more practice in there. Big D... and a lot of health? Yes, okay. Does get done with Phase 3. Featherless, with very little speed. I mean, you just gotta hand it to Big D there. A lot of... A lot of other racers in that position would have died twice, maybe even three times. But not Big D, not this time. Use the base well. Use the Genesis loop well. And, and just manage to hold on. But, but Goji is going to be able to finish up Deathless throughout this race. Or at least that loadout. It's a 32-38. So time to first place, 32-38. Go ahead and put that up there as, as Klauski, again, still technically has a chance, I believe. Uh, Killer Bunny takes the time to pause. Has to scratch their nose or something, who knows. And Big D is done with Phase 4 as Klauski does a Genesis loop. It's a ton of uh, Topaz brooch value, though, from that brooch from the uh, <laughs> from the adaptive chest. Just getting attacked by everything, though. Oh, my God. Down at the bottom left is Klauski getting really harassed by the Souls Control Unit. And also is Killer Bunny that takes a huge fall and lands a Genesis Loop. Boom. Trying to think about health now. Maybe thinking about getting a hit from that. That Caffeinator, no, doesn't even go for it. Is now into phase two. Prox a Prion? It's gonna hit a wall. Interesting, off the uh, the bottle chaos. I forgot we had that. That makes sense why there's a, a Caffeinator on the ground. Now you gotta think. I mean, again, Killer Bunny has really struggled with all these ad phases, but has a lot of movement speed now. Just needs to kind of round them out. Needs to use cover effectively. Can use stuns on the, the golems. You could also always use the, the bridge technique that a lot of the other racers have been picking up on lately, where you just kind of AFK on top of the bridge and none of the Chimera Wisps can reach you. Final time pops up for Big D Wig D. I believe that is a... What is that? Oh no, not this again. Okay, it's kind of blurry. I can't really tell. Got a 30... I think it's a 3940. Yeah, definitely. 3940. For Big D. And now it's just down between Klauski and between Killer Bunny. Let me get that screen up there. There we go. As for 3238, it's going to be uh, not possible for Klaus to pull it off. Not with the five minute penalty. It's now going to proceed, though. And Killer Bunny is going to take death number one against the ad phase. Knocking Killer Bunny out of being able to get in second place in this loadout. 
Um, with Big D looking like it's going to be in second place, I mean, time to second is, is 39 40. Right. 39 40. Oh, that's not time for first, time to second. Killer Bunny is yes, now at 41 minutes. Time to complete the run as a whole is going to be 72. Of how many hits Killer Bunny's taken on this? Actually, almost has everything dead on this ki on these Chimera. It's doing a little bit better. Right, only one death. Just hanging on this time, not just trying to rush through. But I believe even if Killer Bunny gets in third place in this loadout, we'll still end up getting in fourth overall for the, the, the race, and, and unfortunately, as a result, we'll not be able to make the tournament unless someone calls off. So we do have a, a next man up system in place. But it's going to be unfortunate. Again, Killer Bunny, who, who started out at like the 15th or so seed, Really just taking a huge fall. Right, and, and with missing a, a race in week five and opting not to get the bonus or uh, the tiebreaker round, opting just to concede off of that. Went a little bit more sleep instead, and, and now it's, it's, it's coming back to bite him. But we'll see. Maybe Killer Bunny can at least get, get one point just for, for good measure. Might be able to be Klauski. Klauski, who's standing at... What's that? 29 minutes right now. Plus 5 is at 34. Doesn't have the feather, though. Again, the only person with a feather was Goji, which made this fight so much more easy. Right. Killer Bunny just struggling to get any damage at all on Mythrix. Has just the fire band and the laser scope. Doesn't have any crit with the scope. Has a lot of movement speed and, and, and really that's about it. Maybe an AP round and a, and a sticky bomb. Klauski now actually catching up in real time. Passes over Killer Bunny. And. Yeah, at the 35 minute mark, Klauski could even die once and still be ahead of Killer Bunny right now. He's waiting for Mythrix to be done and it's getting some speed shoots in. That's what you want to do. You want to wait for Mythrix, stop throwing the hammers around, and oh, jeez, just eating a whole slice of pizza as, as Killer Bunny taking death number two now at 48 minutes. And we'll actually go ahead and get the time to complete on board just in case this is necessary. I forget, to be honest. Uh, and that's going to be a 72? 30... 38. 72-38. As, as, as Killer Bunny now just takes death number 3 at 54 minutes, and Killer Bunny just needs to focus up. Right, Glowski could still mess up a lot. Could still end up throwing this. You gotta treat every life like it's your last when you're playing the hosting league. When you're playing Gauntlet. Goes for a quick uh, drink. Loses OSP. Prox Bottle Chaos trying to get something, whether it be a Prion or a Capacitor. Does end up getting a, a little bit of damage in, though. Before being thrown into the air, doesn't have the base for landing. We'll have to rely on this pillar, but that's not enough. We'll end up dying. Might actually die again. Oh, please land in time. Does land with a second to spare. But meanwhile, Klauski, almost done with phase two. Is that about 37 minutes real time? Only has about one minute to do phase three. In order to beat Klauski, or uh, not Klauski, but in order to beat Big D. And we'll need a phase four skip. I don't think it's going to be possible. Yeah, 32 plus 5 is 37. 
as until 3940 needs to be on the ship by like 39 period or, or I guess in his game time 34 so that gives you two minutes Killer Bonnie down to 12 minutes needs to finish off Mithrix to at least maybe get a completion at least have something to, to write home about if anything but now gonna fall down again featherless takes death number five at 6603 and just completely tilted at this point and and this time there's there's not gonna be a next time at, at this point for for killer bunny tries to land again safely gets one more gloop off no doesn't even get the gloop it's gonna be at 71 minutes has one minute and and klauski has has uh two minute Nope, another death for Killer Bunny. And hopefully I at least look for a good time. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Okay, Mithrix goes up. I'm gonna wait for Mithrix to... Yeah, there we go. Timeout's called. Unfortunately for Killer Bunny. He's gonna get a double DNF for Week 7. Better luck next time, Killer. Uh, maybe someone decides not to do the tournament. We might see Killer Bunny some more. But other than that... Will not be able to qualify, and that's just going to be it. GG Killer, thanks for playing. So time the second, 39.40, still for Klauski. Klauski with that plus five penalty. I don't have the penalty text up right now, but just imagine a five minute time that's added in. Puts Klauski's time to 38 minutes. And oh geez is in real big danger here, almost dead. Yep, there's a death. There's a death right there. And Klauski is, is not gonna be able to get in first place, or second place. Right, we already know that Goji is the, the guaranteed uh, winner of this loadout race. Ends up getting, let's see, it feels 3940, yes. Definitely five minutes faster than Big D, but not 10 minutes faster. Only gets one bonus point. Can go ahead and hand those out now. Skoji is at nine points. And Big D is at three. As for Klauski, in order to get in third place, just needs to finish before 7238. Should be able to do that as Mythrix is now dead. And phase four is skipped. Get out of your Mythrix. <laughs> there we go. Which means it's going to come down to deaths. Who had more deaths overall? Between Klauski and between Big D. Well, Klauski gets the... Oh, no. I don't know if they had deathless uh, first run, but with that crash... That counts as one plus five. So is that two deaths? And Big D's only at one. We'll have to go back and look at at the first loadout to see how many deaths uh, both racers had. As, as Klauski's gonna hang out here, but it's gonna be close. We'll have to see. It might come down to seconds on the clock. Again, I'll use this time as, as Klauski is chilling on the ship, just hang, having a good time. Uh, if you like the content here within the hosting league, I know things are heating up a little bit. <laughs> it's less of, of joking and, and messing around and a little bit more serious at this point at the, uh, the end of the season. But if you like the content, feel free to leave a, a like, feel free to leave a comment, feel free to, to check me out over on Twitch. I'm live three days a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And while... I believe I'll have like one or two more casts of this. We'll have the tournament over there. So if you want to catch that live, I'll probably make a, a, a YouTube announcement for it uh, when the time comes. But uh, it's going to be a fun time. It's going to be a good time. If you like competitive Risk of Rain, that's going to be perfect for you. And other than that, just a cool place to hang out. Even after that league. Uh, link to my Twitch is in the description below. So that's going to be 40 minutes and 49 seconds for Klauski here. Has two deaths, one in game and one from the crash. 
Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the other results. Let's get Big D had the one death. And here we are, 70 minutes and 9 seconds, this was loadout 1. Big D had 3 deaths, but Klauski, who finished faster in this loadout, had more deaths. Had 4 deaths, a total of 6, uh, Big D only a total of 4 overall, so Big D's actually going to get in 2nd uh, place for this loadout race. Right, because let me go ahead and update Klauski's standings, getting in 3rd place in that 2nd loadout. We go down to to, to not for non first place tiebreakers. And the first one is number of DNFs. Neither racer had that happen, but then it goes to deaths and, and, and just at the two death difference. That's gonna do it. Goji gets it first. GG to Goji. I believe with that confirmed second seed. Yes. Goji is confirmed to be the second seed with getting in first place. Well done, the Goji will have a nice, long-deserved break. After all that time, after all the suffering, Goji with some of the most painful loadouts. Thankfully not so painful today. Um, We'll get to be able to, to use that time to relax and, and build up and get ready for the Hosting League tournament coming soon. Taking just a couple weeks, it'll be underway. Yeah, I'll have more info on that later. GG, well played, and thanks for watching. Till next time.